Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to be discussing how to make your objects and products float by using the masking tool inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, before we hop onto the computer and start editing, let's break down exactly how to film this shot correctly. So here's our setup today. We have our product, AKA our headphones hanging from a fishing line, which I was actually able to find a green colored fishing line. It's probably hard to tell on the camera, but this is going to help it blend in with our black background just a little bit more. Other than that, for the rest of this setup, we have our two tube lights here, and then we have this C stand right here to hang our headphones from. And that's really all we need um, to capture this shot. So it's pretty simple. Now I wanna try something a little bit different. I wanna try turning these tube lights green to kind of light up our atmosphere spray green as well. So let's go ahead and film this shot, get it out of the way, and we can jump into Adobe and I'll show you exactly how to get this fishing line out of the shot. Okay, that looks pretty sweet. That's gonna work great, but we're not quite finished yet. We need to cut the headphones off and film a clean slate because whenever we mask out this section of our video, we're gonna need to refill that with something else. So this is essentially going to be our background um, whenever we mask that out. Yeah, I think those look great. Let's go ahead and hop into Premiere Pro and get masking. Okay, so I have my top five favorite clips from this scene here in Adobe Premiere Pro. I think I like the second clip the best. It just plays at the right speed. It looks good. The atmosphere looks crazy. All right, so I'll just erase all these other clips and drag this to the front. And now we're going to drag our clean slate over top of our video. Okay, so now on video layer one, we have the scene of our headphones with the fishing line in it. It's kind of hard to see. If I just expose this shot a little brighter, you can clearly see where that fishing line is. So let's go ahead and create a mask inside of Premiere Pro to get rid of this fishing line. I'll just start with a square mask, and now we can drag that mask right over top of our headphones, just like that. Let's go ahead and zoom in there so we can see what we're doing more clearly. And by the way, we still have our exposures lifted so it's easier to see for this video example. But once we bring the exposure back down, um, this will most likely just blend into black and look even better. So now what I wanna do is come in and just add a feather around this so we're not able to see the mask so clearly. And already that looks really good and we didn't even keyframe the mask yet. So let's go ahead and move on to one of the last steps and spice this up a little bit more. So as the headphones are moving, they're not staying perfectly in one spot. They're kind of moving a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, a little bit up and down. So what I wanna do is keyframe my mask path. I might actually add a few transform points over the mask and kind of create a triangular shape. That way when I place it over top of my headphones, we can really get as close to that fishing line as we possibly can without affecting the rest of the top of the headphones. There, just like that. And now right here, we see this shadow over the headphones, right? So let me put my mask over, yeah, right here. You can see that the mask is coming over that headphone and it's making it darker. So what we're gonna do now is add some keyframes to make it just kind of bend around the headphones. So we're getting rid of the fishing line, but we're also not affecting the lighting and the look of the headphones. So we'll come right here to mask path, toggle animation, and walk through this one step at a time. In some cases, I could always just click this play button to track the mask and it would just do it for me. Since it's essentially just a dark green blur, um, the computer probably doesn't know what it's tracking exactly. So we're going to have to do this one manually, but don't worry, it's super simple and I'll walk you right through it. So we'll start here right under mask and click toggle animation on mask path. And this is going to create a keyframe for us right in the beginning. Now. I like to just skip halfway through the video and then adjust my mask and then go to the end and then adjust it again. This is because the mask is going to be changing from keyframe to keyframe. So there's a good chance that the keyframes I'm about to create right now are going to do the work for me and I'm not gonna have to go in and keyframe each individual frame. So we're in the middle of the clip right now. I'm gonna pull up on this left transform point, pull up in the middle a little bit and that should be good right there. And let's go to the end and I could probably just drag the whole mask down a little bit. Now I just wanna skim through and make sure that it's not affecting our headphones at all. 
and it's not making them shadowed or dark or anything like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. The only thing I'm noticing is that fishing line is sticking out on just a few points, especially in the beginning. So I'm gonna drag that down just a little bit. Again, that's because we have our feather tool on. So sometimes I'll have to drag that mask over top of our headphones just a little bit. So another pro tip is whenever you're doing a shot like this, where you're trying to make a product or object look like it's floating, um, if you're gonna use atmosphere spray or fog or anything like that, make sure that it does not go behind where you're going to be masking at. If we had this fog, up behind our fishing line, then we needed to have a clean slate that looked identical, which is pretty much impossible to do because you'd have to have the movement of that fog move in the same exact way, which is just not possible. So that's why we just kept the atmosphere on the lower half of our frame. So we wouldn't have to worry about that and it would be much, much easier to mask. And voila, just like that, we have a jaw dropping clip that would look great in a promo video or commercial or something like that. And that's how you make things float with the masking tool inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. You can also use the same technique for things like sky replacement and even cloning yourself. So make sure to leave a comment below of how you plan to use this same technique for a video of your own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a ton of fun making this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.